What's good guys, your boy Aaron back again for another bag review. We've got some new bags I'm really excited to hit. We've got the RDX, which is pretty dope. Of course, the Fight Camp bag and the Tidal Hydro Flex, baby. I've got a couple helpers with me today. We've got Coach PJ, who's been dying to kickbox. So he's going to get his opportunity to prove that he's got good technique. And maybe, just maybe, we'll let him teach some kickboxing classes on the Fight Camp app. And then, of course, we've got Jess from the Midwest, who's here to throw some hands. So let's get him in here and start out on the RDX and see how it holds up with some kicks. All right, I'm here with Coach P. We are going to do a little kickboxing. I want to see what PJ's got, but more importantly, I want to see how the bag reacts. Let's get into it. PJ, give me some round kicks, just your rear leg. There you go, work it hard. So the bag looks pretty durable. It's not moving too much. It's pretty nice. It does have these suction cups at the bottom. All right, let me see uh, your lead leg round kick. It also has this dope little pad down here, so you could throw some low kicks if you wanted to. Now set up with the hands. Good. How about some knees? Oy, oh, it did rock a lot. PJ's a big boy, the bag's moving a lot. How about some teeps? Okay then. The RDX did not hold up to Coach PJ's knees. PJ, take it easy. That's enough, that's enough, bro. That's enough. Let's get Jess in here and see if we can hold up some boxing. All right, Coach Jess, we're just gonna let those hands go. No kicks, just box a little bit. Nice. Give me a one-two coast. All right, that works. How about threes and fours power coast? It's holding up to the punches so far. One-two burnout. Hooks to the body. Freestyle. And time. All right, it held up. How'd it feel? Uh, not too bad. I definitely say that it's, um, it definitely needs some wearing in. It's kind of hard. So for first timers, I can see it being hard on their knuckles or even their wrists. So make sure you wrap your hands. All right, great feedback from Coach S. Thank you so much. All right, let's go on to the fight cam bag. All right, Coach PJ and the fight cam bag, baby. Let's see if we can hold up to the front kicks. Take it where you left off. Working those teeps. Nice snap. We do have the bag ring on the fight camp bag, so if you notice, it's not moving too much. That's proprietary to our bag. All right, how about some round kicks? Work it. Hey, good. Set up with your hands. Nice. Hit him with a spin. Hey, not too shabby. Hey, let's go. Oh, and time. Coach PJ, how did the Fight Camp bag feel in comparison to the RDX? Well, for the record, I will not be teaching kickboxing. Just had to throw that out there. Hey, no, I love the Fight Camp bag. Stable, sturdy. It held up to the kicks, unlike that. <laughs> fight Camp's where it's at, baby. Did, Woo! did the Fight Camp bag feel softer or harder than the RDX bag? A little softer, closer to a traditional heavy bag. I liked it. One thing to consider, if you are a newbie and you're just trying to get a good workout and you're not trying to fight, a hard bag like the RDX is going to hurt your shins a little bit. A nice soft bag is going to get you a great workout, but it's not going to hurt your shins. You're not going to have bruised legs if you're going out. All right, let me get a burnout freestyle. If you notice, the bag's not going anywhere. It's that bag ring, solid base filled with sand. It's a durable bag and time. At least we have the Tidal Hydro Flex. We haven't hit this bag yet. It was pretty easy to set up, but let's see how it holds up. Hit him with some sidekicks, PJ. One and done, baby. Here it is. Ah. Ah. Oh, right. I got saved by the flight cam bag. Ah. Ah. All right, and time. So there goes that. This bag is not going to hold up. There's nothing more infuriating than having a heavy bag that will not hold up to a kick. It does have this round base, too, which isn't ideal. And no bag ring, of course. Didn't take a lot of sand to fill this up, so it's not going to be as durable. All right, Jess, let your hands go freestyle. Change levels on them. Nice. It's working for the hands. It is moving a fair amount. 
You have to be a little bit more advanced. If the bag's going to move, you have to time it. And time. I saw you made a weird facial expression. What's going on? Yeah, it is. It's Again, it's hard on your knuckles. So if you're a new person, just be aware that that's a possibility. Really wrap your hand so your wrists are protected. And then another thing is, like, like Aaron said, you have to treat this like almost like a hanging bag because it's moving. So you need to make sure you have good timing so you don't overextend and hyperextend your arm. Great feedback. Thank you, Jess. All right, so there you have it. You see how the bags perform? Let's talk a little bit about the setup and the price because that's important to me. This bag, I'm not going to lie, we don't know if they forgot to send us the directions or if they don't come with directions, but we had to figure it out on our own, and it was not easy. I'm telling you, it has all these suctions underneath. It took forever to set it up. Also, depending on the flooring you have, it didn't suction to this floor at all. So it might help if you're on hardwood floors. I don't know what you're working out on, but take that into consideration. These suction cups did nothing today. As you can see, when PJ kicked it, it fell right over. The price for the RDX is $219. Onto the Fight Camp bag. So this is really easy to set up because it's only two pieces. You need 350 pounds of dry sand in order to fill up the base. That's the hardest part. But once you do that, this will last forever. It's super durable and it's super soft. So it's a great experience to work out on. This bag comes in at $4.99. That includes punch trackers and gloves. Now the punch trackers are really unique because when you're doing these fight camp workouts at home, you're gonna follow along with the trainer on screen and you're gonna be able to measure the speed and output of your punches, which really gamifies the whole experience, makes it really fun and really engaging. So that's the fight camp bag. Last but not least, the Tidal Hydro was pretty easy to set up. It didn't take much sand because the base is very small, but it also didn't hold up to any kick. So you get what you pay for. But this bag is designed to move. It's a rounded base, so it's meant to move around a little bit. You have to be a little bit more advanced to hit it, to time it. If you're looking for a beginner level boxing or kickboxing workout, this is probably not ideal. This bag comes in at $349. So there you have it. You have three different options at three different price points, but you really get what you pay for. I recommend getting a quality bag, filling it with dry sand. It will last forever and it won't move all over the place. Go to fightcamp.com, try some of our workouts, and for free workouts, tutorials, and bag reviews, make sure you like and subscribe here. My name is Aaron Swenson. Until next time. This is Fight Camp, an interactive training camp from the comfort of your own home. Tutorials and guided paths walk you step-by-step -step through the basics and sharpen your technique over time. Punch tracking technology and leaderboards provide you built-in motivation to help you hit your goals. Learn more at fightcamp.com. Your workout, and I don't expect you to be going non-stop.